This is Matt from Dice for the Round Table, and this is going to be a paint desk update. And so here's what's been going on January 17th. I have up front here um, some more of my Bulgarians. Uh, I've decided to paint them in. I've done them in like, oh, I'm going to do 20 or 30 at a time. I've decided to do them in batches of six. So here you go. I really do like how these came up. I did play around with some of the basing, so put this one on a little bit more battlefield debris on one side, so it'd be like maybe that's part of a road that he's that this guy's hunkering up next to. I really do like how these he this hedge and this bush hedge look like. I took some matchstick wood, sliced it up, stuck it into the bases, and then glued the clump foilage clump to that and that actually ended up looking pretty good and uh, these are just uh, pieces of balsa wood actually sliced up as well but kind of painting them as a stone maybe like a country villa or a country house that got uh, demolished a little bit so I did do these a little bit differently from my first batch of Bulgarians and I really do like how they turned out and I'm going to follow this pattern for the painting tutorial that I'm going to do on this one. I also got done a couple more Joan of Arc. So they're all up in blue. And then some more and some red. So not a whole lot of progress, but... I've been painting just a little bit here and there when I got a chance on some of the Bulgarians here and before I did some more which if you look back here this is my medic and assistant anti-tank rifle team is here I'm working on those I have the five over here and then we won't talk about all those still hunkered over here so we got the mortar team artillery and then sniper and lieutenant team so again uh, not super like, ooh, all this stuff, um, but making steady progress. Thanks for checking out the paint desk.